Hello dear students. Today we will be discussing uh, the last but the most important topic of this chapter that is atoms and molecules. And the topic is the mole concept, right? So it's so important that you start studying this concept in class 9. And it is very useful and helpful for uh, even uh, your uh, later classes. You will be using it in class 11th, 12th and so on. Right? So what is a uh, mole concept? In order to understand mole concept, let's take an example of a chemical reaction. Say carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and we can find a, a quantitative relationship between the amounts of reactants and products in various ways. For example, you could say that 12 gram of carbon reacts with 32 gram oxy of oxygen to form 44 gram carbon dioxide. There is another way which is uh, found to be more convenient rather than expressing in terms of masses and that was we can use the number of particles so we can say one atom of carbon reacts with two atoms or one molecule of oxygen to give you one molecule of carbon dioxide right so, uh, of course, you must have seen it's convenient to express their quantitative relationship by using their number of particles instead of expressing their masses, right? So, uh, but uh, we are discussing about chemistry. Chemistry, as you know, is the study of atoms and molecules and atom, atoms and molecules. You have seen are extremely, extremely small beyond the imagination. So, in a given amount of substance, there is a huge, huge number of particles in a very small amount of substance. So, for expressing the huge number of particles in a convenient way, we need to have some uh, short term which may express a fixed amount of or fixed number of particles. For example, in a daily life, we use the term one dozen and you all know very well that one dozen means twelve in number. Anything which is twelve in number is equals to one dozen. If you say one dozen of apples means twelve apples. If you say one dozen of pens means twelve pens. If you say one dozen of chairs means twelve chairs. Even if you say twelve, uh, one dozen of children means twelve children. So anything which is uh, 12 in number is equal to 1 dozen. We can have even uh, bigger quantities. You can use another term that is uh, known as gross. 1 gross which is equal to 12 dozen. And of course number wise it becomes 144 in numbers. So uh, using the dozen for expressing the number of atoms or molecules is not convenient because as I said that atoms or molecules are extremely extremely small. So even a very small of substance is going to have a huge huge number of particles in it. So dozen like terms uh, becomes useless here for expressing the number of atoms or molecules. So in order to solve this problem in 1896, Wilhelm Ostwald introduced the term one mole. That is a Latin term meaning heap or pile. And the, num the term got recognition in 1967. So the term one mole was accepted 
in the uh, year 1967 and since then we have been using it very conveniently for solving number of problems and for getting number of useful informations. So what is uh, this actually one mole uh, mean? So uh, you can say that one mole is something which is equals to 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 number of particles. If you say one mole of atoms means this much number of atoms. Exactly in the same way as one dozen. As you have seen anything which is one dozen is representing 12 in numbers. Similarly anything which is one mole is representing 6.022 into 10 is to power 23 in number. If you say one mole of atoms means this much number of atoms. If you say one mole of molecules means this much number of molecules. If you say one mole of ions means this much number of ions. That's why the one mole is also known as a chemist dozen. Right? And uh, theoretically how is one mole expressed? So theoretically one mole is equal to the amount of substance which contains as much number of particles as number of atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope. Right? So, that amount of substance which contains as much number of particles as the number of atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope that will be known as 1 mole. Right? So, uh, coming back to this point again, again I go to uh, dozen. Suppose uh, you are supposed to get like one dozen of apples or one dozen of pen. It's very convenient for you to count 12 apples or 12 pens and you say that is one dozen. Now for a chemical reaction if one mole of atoms are required. So is it possible for you that you can count such a huge number of atoms? Of course no. Why not? Two reasons are there. First of all, these atoms are extremely small in size. The particles or uh, atoms or molecules are extremely small in size. It's not possible for you to take one by one uh, atom or molecule and count it. One, two, three and so on. Secondly, this is such a huge number. It's an uncountable number. So you cannot count this number. Now you must be wondering that why are we so bothered about uh, such a term which is not having any significance? No, don't think like that. Because this one mole has got another relationship with mass and that is equal to atomic mass of element or you can say Molecular mass of compound, right? So, atomic mass of any element or molecular mass of any compound is not the mass of one atom or one uh, molecule. It is basically the mass of one mole of atoms or one mole of molecules. That's why this mass is also known as 
molar mass as we uh, say it is the mass of one mole of substance right similarly you can uh, relate this uh, mole or mass to the volumes of gases also so gaseous volume can also be related to the uh, mole and that relationship is this one mole is also equal to 22.4 liter of any gas at stp right if you take 22.4 liter of any gas at stp now you must be thinking what is stp stp stands for a standard temperature and pressure because you know that the uh, volume of gases is dependent on the temperature and pressure for the same amount of gas for the same number of particles of the gas you can have different volumes by changing the temperature and pressure so when we express mole in terms of the volume of gas it must be uh, always at stp that means at standard temperature and pressure so now we have got a relationship one mole in terms of numbers is equal to 6.022 into 10 is to power 23 particles in terms of mass it is equal to atomic mass if it is element or it is molecular mass if it is the case of compound and for a gas it is 22.4 liter of any gas at stp right so uh let's take some example to uh, discuss you the applications of uh, mole concept for example calculate the number of moles in Two point two gram of carbon dioxide. Another is say three point zero one one into ten raised to power twenty two twenty molecules of water. And another one you can say. 1.12 liter of ammonia gas at stp right so one by one uh, we'll be discussing all the parts here so first of all look at the first part where you are given the mass and you have to calculate the number of moles so in order to convert mass into number of moles you must know the relationship between mass and number of moles and what is that relationship you know that one mole is equal to atomic mass or molecular mass and here it is carbon dioxide which is a compound and molecular mass of carbon dioxide is what you know it is 44 so now we can say that 44 g of carbon dioxide equals to 1 mole so 2.2 g of carbon dioxide is equals to 1 by 44 into 2. Two, which comes out to be one by twenty moles. So you can say that two point two gram of carbon dioxide contains one by twenty moles. Another one here is you have to convert number of particles to moles. 
right and again you look at this relationship that 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 particles is equal to 1 mole so you can say here is that 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules of water is equal to 1 mole. So you are given here 3.011 into 10 to the power 20 molecules of water is 1 into 3.011 into 10 to the power 20 divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23. So on solving what you get here is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole. Right. So you can say that 3.011 into 10 raised to power 20 molecules of water it is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole. Right. And look at the third part where you have to convert the volume of gas to mole and here you have seen you have to calculate 1.12 liter of ammonia uh, how many number of moles are there so again if you look at the relationship you come to know that if it is 22.4 liter of ammonia at STP then it contains one mole. So you were given 1.12 liter of ammonia. So how many number of moles are there? 1 into 1.12 divided by 22.4. So it again comes out to be 1 by 20 mole. So in this way you can see, you can uh, calculate here the number of uh, moles by using the mass or the number of particles or the volume, whatever it is. So keep in mind only this relationship and by using this relationship you can very easily uh, do any numerical problems based on mole concept, right? Let's take one more example to give you some more detailed idea about the problems related to mole concept. Next question is calculate the mass of so here first part is say 0 0.5 mole of hydrogen yeah uh, you can take 0 0.5 mole of water Another one you can take 3.011 into 10 raised to power 20 molecules of glucose which is having formula C6H12O6 and another one here you can take here is say 11.2 liter of hydrogen gas at STP and you have to calculate the masses of all these. So uh, first of all we start here with the first part where you have to calculate the mass of 0 0.5 mole of water. Now again uh, uh, whatever is required here is there is a relationship needed between the mass and number of moles and that relationship is one mole is equals to atomic mass or 
molecular mass. As water is a compound, so we will discuss about its molecular mass. And here we can say that one mole of water has a mass of 18 gram. So 0 0.5 mole of water will have a mass of 18 into 0 0.5. And that comes out to be simply 9 gram. Right? Now uh, look at second part here. You have to calculate the mass of 3.011 into 10 to the power 20 molecules of glucose. This time a relationship is needed between the number of particles and mass. And that relationship is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is equals to atomic mass or molecular mass. As it is the case of glucose which is a compound and molecular mass of glucose is 180. So you can say here is that uh, 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 Molecules of glucose are having a mass of 180 gram and you have taken how much? 3.011 into 10 to the power 20 molecules. So mass of this mesh molecule is 180 into 3.011 into 10 to the power 20 divided by 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23. So this cancels out 2 and it becomes how much? 90 into 10 raised to power minus 3 gram. That is the mass of 3.011 into 10 raised to power uh, 20 molecules of glucose. Right? And look at the third one, 11.12 liter of hydrogen gas at STP. So this time a relationship is needed between the volume and the mass, right? And here you can see 22.4 liter volume is equal to the molecular mass. So here you can say that if it was 22.4 liter of hydrogen gas at STP, it is having a mass of 2 gram. Then 11.2 liter of hydrogen at STP will be having the mass of 2 by 22.4 into 11.2 that comes out to be 1 gram, right? So in this way uh, you can have uh, simple problems. The problems uh, will be coming uh, complicated as you go to higher classes but the basic concept or the basic idea of solving the problems related to mole concept that remains same, right? So before leaving we can have one more example. Calculate the mass of one atom of oxygen. 
Now many times you get confused that it is very simple. You say that uh, atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So the mass of one atom of oxygen is 16. No, that is wrong. As you have already seen that atomic masses or molecular masses are not the masses of one atom or molecule. It is the mass of one mole of atom or molecule. So here uh, you know as the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So you can say that 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms of oxygen is equal to 16 gram, right? Then one atom of oxygen is how much? Now you can solve 16 upon 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 which comes out to be around 2.6 into 10 raised to power minus 23 gram. It is the mass of one atom of oxygen. Right? I hope these examples, they give you a clear cut idea about the mole concept and solving the questions uh, based on the small concept. And that is all about your uh, third chapter of your syllabus that is atoms in uh, molecules. Next chapter of your syllabus that is structure of atom that will be dis uh, discussing in a next lecture. In the meantime, you keep on practicing more and more questions based on mole concept for any problem. You can leave your uh, doubts in the message box and that will be answered. So goodbye till then. Have a nice time.